Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and we are now on question number four from the International A Level LXL Pure Mathematics P4 specimen paper, which I've been going through. And this question here, number four, is about a right triangular prism. The cross section is an equilateral triangle. The cross section is just this part here. Uh, with side x, so it's equilateral, so all the sides are the same, they're all x. Okay, and the length of the prism is 3x centimeters, where x is greater than 2. Given that the cross sectional area of the prism is changing at a rate of 2 minus x centimeters squared per second, find in terms of x an expression for dx dt. So what we're given here um, is dx we got to find what dx dt is we got to find what dx dt is and we're given um the a dt the cross sectional area of the prism okay so this is the cross sectional area so you're going to be careful here the cross sectional area means just the part um it's the area of this flat shape the shape that's the same all the way through this triangle so the cross sectional area of the prism is basically just the area of this triangle Okay, that's the cross-section area of the prism. Okay, where this is x and x and x. And of course, if it's equilateral, all the angles are 60 degrees. They're all 60 degrees. It's equilateral. So that's the cross-section of this prism. So it says, given that the cross-section area of the prism is changing at a rate of 2 minus x centimeters squared per second, find in terms of x an expression for dx dt, which is the, the rate of change of the lengths of the sides. Okay, so we got to find dx dt. That's what we got to find, dx dt. Now, what we're given is da dt, which is, I'm going to call it the cross-sectional area. Let's call it da dt. da dt. Okay, that's what we're given, and we have to find dx dt. So this is called related rates of change, so or connected rates of change. So we got to end up with dx dt. So I need to have... Um, something I need to get rid of the da, so I've got to put da under here, and I have to put in a, a dx, so I have to, I've got to put a dx up here. So if I multiply da dt by dx da, I'm going to end up with dx dt, which is what I need. Okay, so we we had to find dx dt. We were given da dt, which is this here. This is da dt, basically. Two minus x centimeters squared per second. That's what we're given. And we have to multiply by something that will leave leave us with dx dt, and that is dx dA. Because the A's, I've got to get rid of the dA, so I have to divide by dA, and I have to put in a dx, so I have to multiply it on top by dx. So dx dA is what I need to find. Okay, so I've got to find what dx dA is now. So I need to have A and x, um, I need to find A as some function of x. A, remember, is a cross-sectional area. So the cross-sectional area of this prism is basically the area of this triangle. And this is an equilateral triangle, and we can use the fact that the area is a half times AB sine C. So I can say the cross-sectional area of this prism is a half times X times X times the sine of 60, and the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So the area of this prism, the cross-sectional area of this prism, is a half times X squared times root 3 over 2. So I can say that the cross-sectional area of the prism is uh, root 3 over 4 times x squared. Okay, and I need to find the x dA. Well, I can find the a dx pretty easily from this. This is going to be 2 times root 3 over 4, which is root 3 over 2 times x. So therefore, I can say the x dA is going to be um, 2 over root 3 times x. I can leave it like that for now. I need to find what dx dt is. So dx dt is going to be um, 2 minus x times dx dA. Okay, so 2 minus x times dx dA, which is 2 over root 3 times x. Okay, so what I can do here is I can, um, this is going to be 4 minus 2x over root 3 times x. If I rationalize the denominator, which I should really do, I have to multiply both top and bottom by root 3. So I end up with 4 root 3 
minus uh, 2x times root 3 over 3x. Okay, so you can say root 3 times 4 minus 2x over 3x, and that is an expression for dx dt. So I can say dx dt is equal to root 3 um, times 4 minus 2x over 3x, and there's my expression for dx dt. Now on to part B. Part B says find the rate of decrease of the volume of the prism when x equals 2.0. Five. So we need to find the rate of decrease of the volume, so dv dt, that's what we need to find. Okay, now what do we have? We have dx dt. We know what dx dt is, and I want to be, I want to be left with dv dt, so I have to multiply by dt over, um, sorry, dv over dx. Okay, because I want to be left with dv dt. Okay, so I have to multiply by dv dx. Okay, so if I get dv dx times dx dt, that leaves me with dv dt. So dx dt, I already know from the last part of the question. dx dt is given by this expression, root 3 times 4 minus 2x over 3x, root 3 times 4 minus 2x over 3x, that's dv dt, dx dt, sorry. And I need to find dv dx. Now, the volume of this prism is going to be given by the cross-sectional area times the depth, which is 3x. So the cross-sectional area, we already know, is, um, as we found in this part of the question, was uh, root 3 over 4x squared. So that's already found, root 3 over 4x squared. And the depth is 3x. So you end up with 3 times root 3 over 4 times x cubed. That's the volume of this prism and we need to find dv dx. So dv dx, as we can see here, you multiply by the powers, that gives you 9 times root 3 over 4 and then you have x squared. So I can replace now, uh, I know my dv dt is equal to root 3 times 4 minus 2x over 3x times dv dx which is 9 times root 3 over 4 times x squared. And you want to find it when x equals 2.05. Okay, so when x equals 2.05, we can just simply substitute all of these values um, into here. Okay, we don't have to. We could simplify, I guess, if we wanted to, like this 3 will cancel with these two together. All right, so let's just simplify a little bit. So you have 4 minus 2x over x times 9 over 4. I guess that, that's okay. Uh, 9 over 4 times x squared, sorry. Alright, so we can just substitute it over here if we want. So you have 4 minus 2x over 4x um, times 9x squared. Okay. So let's just put x equals 2.05 into here. So 4 minus 2 times 2.05 times 2.05 squared over 4 times 2.05. You can just substitute that in here now. Nine times 2.05 squared. I'll do that first. Okay, and then I'm gonna have 4 minus 2 times 2.05 and all of that over 4 times 4 times 2.05 which gives me minus 369 over 800 Did it tell us how to round it? No. <clears throat> Oops. So let's write that to 3SF with minus 0 0.461. Minus 0 0.461. Okay, leave it to 3, 3, 3SF. So the rate of the rate of 
decrease of the volume is equal to 0 0.461 centimeters cubed per second okay so when you say the rate of decrease you don't write it as a negative value when you call it rate of decrease okay this is minus 0 0.461 it means it's decreasing so the rate of decrease is 0 0.461 centimeters cubed per second and there's the answer to this question part B. So question number four done. So this is a question about rates of change. It's part of the differentiation topic in P4. And you'll find other questions from this paper in uh, the playlist that should show up over here. Other questions from this topic of differentiation in P4 in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel from here somewhere in the middle. And on the top will be a card taking you to another paper you might be interested in. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.